that's good with my people. Whoa. We in the kitchen. Yeah. And we finna benefit our bodies, man. Let's get healthy in the kitchen, y'all. So, today, this is a special request from my two youngins, my little ones, Jaden and Noah. And we finna make some mango strawberry bread. So, you already know, first we start off with the organic flour. Start off with that. We're gonna pour that right in here. The little ones always want to help. They want to get down in the kitchen too. The little ones want to get down in the kitchen. The little ones want to get down. Pour the stuff. All this, this food that we've been eating lately. All this strawberries and uh, greens and everything just really been putting me in the mood to grow my own food, so that's what I've been on lately. Just learning how to grow, learning how to uh, build beds and uh, you know, put the cardboard down, put some wood chips down, add your soil, you know, put in the right uh, organic compost, you know, chicken fertilizer, you know, uh, organic fertilizer. And you start your own backyard garden. Even if you don't have a backyard, you know, you can have pots. I got some some parsley growing in the back, and I've also planted some other things. So I just really been getting into just building my own garden, starting my own garden, eating my own fruits, controlling my my controlling what I eat, knowing what's in the food, knowing what's on it. Because we had some uh, some problems with bugs in our food. Like at Whole Foods, we went to Whole Foods a couple times and had some bugs in the garbanzo beans. And uh, there was some bugs, there's lots of bugs on the, on the, on the kale. You know, I know you guys know there, there will be bugs on, the, on your greens and stuff because they're outside regardless, you don't have bugs on them. But, I just don't trust they bugs. I feel like they bugs is just genetically modified grown bugs and they just put them on the plant for some, you know, conspiracy theorists. But really, uh, just philosophical. But, uh, yeah, so that's all I'm about, you know, just trying to control everything. So, yeah, let's just get back to this bread, though. So, you already know, we got the spell flour. We're going to. Water in it. We're gonna put some water on the strawberries first so we can wash some strawberry down. Bam. I already, I already started cutting up my mangoes. So, so got the mango cut up, got the mincer. That's what I call it. I don't know what it's called, but I call it's it the mincer. Because it do just be chopping stuff problems. down real small. So I'm gonna chop this down and add it in here. And I'm also going to add my strawberries in there. And I'm going to show you my finished product. I'm also going to squeeze some lemon in the main. Just let you know. Stay in the field, ready to build. We out here to help. The ones that's supposed to be protecting out here shooting to kill. How I'm supposed to feel. I didn't let like go. It ain't real. Trying to educate my people. I ain't after a deal. I'm we not. need this money though. Just make me want to pack up and go. I'm headed back to where I came from overseas on a boat. And now I'm in the straw, baby. Tell me how selfish is that? They don't want to do no better. They ignoring the facts. A lot of us might as well be in chains. All right, so after you have added your, your strawberries and your mangoes, what you want to do is add you your secret, secret, all-purpose agave syrup. All-purpose right here, y'all. Just for everything, everything. You, know, you already know me. I don't do no measuring. I don't do no measuring. I do. I, I just do my, you know, my taste bud or usually the measurer. Just pour and you taste. Ice cream. Taste that. Oh. I'm gonna add a little, a little coconut sugar to it. Or your date sugar. 
whichever one you you like better. I like this. I, I, I honestly like date sugar better. It's just more expensive. It's like nine dollars. Coconut sugar like five dollars. It's not that much expensive, but keep it organic. So after you add the coconut, coconut flour, and uh yeah, even if you have coconut flour, it's even good to add coconut flour. I just didn't have none. So you got the organic coconut oh, sugar, the agave. that now we just want to add that to our mixture yeah, go ahead add that hold on hold on put that down For the kids sake we put everything in the cupcakes you know and we're gonna throw those in the oven now and i'll show you the finished product when they're done and they're done let's try them out 